I was lucky enough that I actually got the call to do it. Um, I'm not sure if there was a shortlist, but I'd done a movie battle Los Angeles. I was uh, busy editing that and lucky enough that they called me. I went to see the first movie on the Friday night that it opened. And uh, of course, you feel like there, there was an amazing spectacle and action in that movie. How could you add to that, make it better? You know, the cast was incredible. Well, how could I maybe involve them more? You know, because they're such great actors. How can we go deeper into their relationship? So, yeah, of course, there's a lot of trepidation. Well, Sam and I, uh, I felt like brothers in a sense. We're the same age. We have the same frame of reference when it comes to movies. Uh, we were always discussing other characters, watching Clint Eastwood films, watching um, obviously Jim Cameron movies, just movies we loved and wanted his character to feel like. So setting the movie 10 years ahead where he's a single dad, I think brought out a lot of Sam's strengths. If you watch his stuff that he did in Australia where he's quite brilliant, movies like Somersault, there's a sort of quiet intensity to Sam, which we wanted to bring out more. And so we would sit down and discuss that a lot. How could we play to Sam's strengths in order to make the movie better? Sam is the most incredible physical actor. Um, he gets so involved in his action, he will hurt himself, he'll put rocks in his way, trip over them, just do anything he can to enhance the action. I've never worked with an actor who's so aware of uh, what an audience is feeling and wants to please them and make sure they're always excited in the action. And Sam beat himself up, which was incredible for a director because sometimes you're afraid to ask your actor to go to that um, almost dangerous place and Sam just goes there and you just better be rolling or you'll miss something cool. Sam's dedication gave other actors less excuses um, because they'd see how much he was putting in and I'm sure it inspired them to go further. I think in Greek mythology, the reason it's relevant today is because you have um, dysfunctional families, brothers and fathers who aren't good fathers or good brothers or great sons or, you know, questions we have today in our own families. So um, we definitely wanted to explore that because that's the only way you'll care about those characters and therefore care about the massive special effects. Liam and Rafe are almost like brothers in real life and so I really wanted to bring that out on screen and try and as much as possible have them contribute and so uh, I would just ask them and they would dive headlong into things which was great. They were so game and so the thing was just as they would be involved as much as I wanted so I just always wanted them involved with their ideas and how to almost be on screen more. I wanted to do my own Liam and Rafe movie. Well, I don't know what they did on the first one, but on this, I, I believe that uh, CGI feels more real. Visual effects feel more real when they interact with the world around the actors. So there was as much practical explosions or um, moments that we could cue the CGI to interact with. Before we started shooting, I loved the Cyclops. That, for me, was the most famous and well-known. When we were shooting, I loved the Chimera because that was the most fun to shoot because you're blowing up an entire village. And then in post-production, the most fun was Kronos because he's all computer-generated and you just get to see how far you can push today's technology. It's 
like a crew you put around you that make you the least talented in the room. Seriously. You hire people that have done amazing work that you love, and um, that's sort of, you make yourself the least talented person in the room. We wanted someone who could command an army and still be someone a guy would marry. You know, a guy would find sexy and she just pulls that off. And I can't direct that. It's a quality she has. She's very commanding and retains her sexiness somehow. I don't know how she does that. She went for it. You know, she, there were no excuses. She, whatever you threw at her, she would take and take even further. The labyrinth, what we really shot on set was these moving hallways and it was difficult because you have tight spaces, you've got to get your camera in there and you've got to keep it interesting. Um, so, um, it was, yeah, it was that very tough shooting in there but interesting and it was a slow process, you know, you'd get one or two shots a day and then move on and it felt very slow but I think worthwhile. I think it's all the same. Um, I just had such talented actors on this movie. I didn't really have a problem directing them with nothing there. Sam is so experienced from Avatar and acting at a green screen and giving the animators ideas by the way he moves his head or where he looks. And the same with Liam and Rafe. They just have such fantastic imaginations. Um, it was a pleasure directing them. I didn't have to do much, much of the thinking. I don't know, I love these movies, so I'm sure it'll be something similar.